Hey YouTube, uh, Antonio here. Today I will show you how you can change your Lenovo ThinkPad T430 um, keyboard. This will maybe because you want to upgrade it because you lose some keys or well this may not be working at all. So well, to begin we need to first flip around the laptop and then we will need to remove the cover that um, it's in the RAM and the CMS battery. So well, to remove it, we will need to remove those two screws and then um, we'll flip, remove this as, a, as you see in the video. And we also need to remove another two screws that hold the keyboard in place. This screw and this other one. So well, once it's done, we'll flip around the computer once again. And well, to remove the keyboard, we need to push it um, from the bottom and in a direction to the screen, so it uh, snaps where snaps from the tabs. <laughs> and then we'll need to remove this uh, ribbon cable. So we'll just grab it from the tab and then pull it. Um, be careful when you remove the keyboard not to pull it uh, with too much force because you may actually end up with a break with a broken connector on your laptop or the motherboard so well to put uh, the new one uh, back into place we'll need to first connect um, the ribbon cable so we'll um, align it correctly um, we'll Please be patient and be careful because we'll apply too much force may end up again in a broken connector. Just be sure you connect it correctly. And well, to put the keyboard back into place, we'll need to do it in a reverse motion as we remove it. So first align the tabs in the top of the keyboard and then um, pull it in a backwards motion or well in a track back direction motion and just be sure you connect it correctly just a little um, revision of all the tabs make sure they look good they look as they should they should look okay now in order to complete the well the removal and replacement of the keyboard we'll need to screw again the two screws we remove uh, from the that well these little two screws okay Please just be patient and do not apply too much force because you may actually smooth the threads um, around the screws. So, well, if if that happens, um, these screws will not hold the the keyboard as they should hold it. So, well, once it's finished, we'll apply again the this cover. First align the tabs in the top and then screw again the little two screws. So well, well this pretty much wraps it up for this video. Well, as you can see here is a new keyboard, all new and shiny. Well, some of the upgrades was the Windows logo and the F and key that I was missing. So well, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.